and welcome everybody here twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some budget mono blue our second budget deck of the day uh, we're going through all five of the mono colored um colors all five of the colors and we're going to be making a mono color deck with each one we're doing mono color decks because that makes your mana base a lot easier to make budget decks um, as far as budget decks with the um the uh the criteria there we go the criteria that i went by was that there's no more than eight rares in any deck um you know two play sets that's the most rares that that you can have and no more than two mythics so making these budget decks to try to make it easier you know if you're if you're just kind of starting out on arena and you want to um, make some decks hopefully make it easier on your wild card consumption this deck right here is the most budget friendly of all of them and you can even make this um, super, super budget friendly if you would like. This uh, specific um, deck, you could take out, like, so there's there's four rares. There's Gadwick and Castle Vantress, and there's two Mythics with the Brazen Borrowers. If you don't want to play Brazen Bar, I know Brazen Borrower and Paper is really expensive. Um, if you don't want to uh, play those, you can just you could re just replace them with Unsummons. Okay, so you could take so that's how you replace that. And if you don't even want to play any rares, of course you could just play two extra islands instead of castles, and instead of the two Gadwicks, you could play two more Omen of the Seas. So that would, um, you know, that gives you only twelve threats, but you have like some good card selection and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so if you want to make this deck have absolutely have zero rares or mythics, that's what I'd recommend changing. But this deck's going to be about tempo. It's going to be about countering a lot of spells. As you can see, we got Negate, Quench, Essence Scatter, Mystical Dispute, Sinister Sabotage. We're going to be trying to counter all of our opponent's spells and try to tempo them out with Brineborn Cutthroat, Spectral Sailor, um, Brazen Borrower being our our Flash creatures. We have Terramander, which is uh, does not have Flash, but it's a 1-1 one, one that can get very large with the Adapt ability. You know, there's there's also like Fairy Vandal that you can play that has Flash, but I think that I like uh, Terramander more. And Terramander is the reason why we're going like four opt and only two Omen of the Sea. Um, but then also, you know, like sometimes with these decks, you just need to refill. And so I like having the two Gadwicks where you can just refill with them. Um, but then also Gadwick, you can tap down creatures also and, and help get like have Cutthroat get through and stuff like that. So Gadwick's a good strong card to play also. All right, so um, so that's that's our deck. That's budget mono blue. Um, also, y'all on YouTube, I'm uh, just a new thing that I'm going to try doing and see how it goes. Uh, I'm not going to like you know we just got done with the mono white, but I deleted the record there. So those y'all watching on YouTube, it won't be uh, won't spoil the record. So you can you know I know I've heard some uh, feedback that people like watching the videos in different orders and they don't like seeing the record that we had earlier up there. Um, and so for those of y'all in chat, um, if you want to, if you want to know how we did in the deck, you can type exclamation point score into the chat here, and then it'll tell you what our record for that deck was. Um, unfortunately we couldn't do exclamation point record and results because of how MTG bot works, but we use score. All right. Anyway, let's get started. Um, and we're gonna play like we're gonna play nine games over in ranked. So we're giving them a tough a tough test in ranked. <clears throat> okay, cool. Looks like people like the change. All right, good. And we're playing mono blue. So we got our our blue avatar. We got our blue sleeves. All right, I'm not counting that one. Don't know what's going on today. <laughs> you try to avoid looking at the left-hand side of the screen while you're watching on YouTube before. Yeah, hopefully that helps out. Our hand was really good, too. We had a really good hand. I need my blue, blue cat. There we go. Let's 
So I do need a third land, but I need threats also. I'm going to keep the land to start with, and now then I can aggressively bottom lands with the Omen of the Sea. Alright, so Cutthroat is a threat. I'm definitely keeping Cutthroat, and I think I want to keep the Omen of the Sea also. You liked having the scores on YouTube so you can see which decks did well, and then go watch those videos. <laughs> yeah. I guess you have to just watch all the videos, and if you want to see the scores first, you just have to go to the end. That's something you can do too. Moment of the sea. I'm going to take this opt. All right, good bottom on that land. It was like the point like where, like I wouldn't mind drawing the land, but we don't need to draw the land. I would kind of want to have Uh, let's go capture. I mean, if I go dispute, then I can crack the omen. Maybe that's the way to go. Could you put a spoiler below thing in the video description with all the scores? I mean, you're just you're just able to click to the end of the video, though, right? If you're already going to the yeah, I messed that up because they're tapped out. I should have. Let's see. How how could I have done it? Oh no no no! I would still no. I was still fine. Okay, yeah. So I could. I was still gonna be able to do nine damage. So I was going to. I was gonna unsummon my creature and then negate the unsummon, and then that's two extra points of damage. Yeah. So our mono blue deck wants to play against decks with with expensive spells like that. We don't want to face like mono red. They can be really cheap. We want to play the expensive spells decks. Want to sinister sabotage the bird? No. <clears throat> so they only have two lands, so Quench should be countering something. Plus, it's good to get you know, more instants to be able to put in the graveyard for Terramander.
Got work. Oh, it's a lot of lands. So of course I could. Uh, yeah, they're just they're just stuck on lands. I could have played my two one and tapped their healer's hawk, but I actually wanted to do that before their combat, keep them from attacking with the healer's hawk. Okay. We got a pack. Uh, we are out. It looks like we got all the rares in Theros now. So we just got 20 gems. Need more mythics. The record goes over the lands and other permanents. Can you lower, lower this? Yeah, if we lower it, then it's just going to be over the cat, though, right? That's already over the cat. Poor kitty cat. Yeah, I basically... I, wait, I started it where it would be, like, right underneath... Oh, because there's usually, like, there's a, a timer right underneath this thing. And so I put it underneath the timer. Because I wanted to... I was going to have it between the timer and the cat. What if I take out... Maybe I just need to take off the word, like, the mono dash to make these shorter. Because, yeah, these are these are going quite a, quite a ways out. And then I'll just say budget white, budget blue, budget black. And then on the, the YouTube thumbnail. Now, I'm definitely not going to delete the deck from the list. Because then, because I want people to know, like, what we played. They want to go see it. Hey, Zexian. Yeah, they, I just attack, they just block. And then get a token. Yeah, that kind of moves that back a little bit. It hopefully helps.
All right, well, I like I like the position that we're at. But that doesn't mean that we're going to win, of course. Got a lot of grim initiates over here. I shouldn't like the spot that we're at. I'm like one point away from killing them in the air next turn with Terramander adapting... Oh, never mind. I'm not. I'm. I did that math wrong. Never mind, because this is five, six. Never mind. So that's perfect. If they draw land, that would be nice. Should be able to. You can probably figure this out to win this one, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So that should just be nine damage. Six, nine, and we're at eleven. All right. Three and <laughs> Remember Chain Whirler? That was a magic card. All right, there's our Brazen Borrower. So like this shows like this is definitely better than Unsummon, and like as you can tell in this kind of hand. But um, you know, if you need to play Unsummon, that's that's fine. It, It'd be difficult to play on someone with this kind of hand. Oh. I needed to play against a like this was this hand was awesome against a control deck, you know, like a Jeskai Fires or something like that. Not a good hand against Model Red on the draw. We're just gonna kind of lose to Model Red on the draw. That's okay. Say our hand of four, three mana counter spells. It's not good.
I don't ha I don't have like any way to win this. I I can bounce Steamkin. I can bounce Robber so they don't get extra cards, but I'm just dead to all this stuff. I bounce Steamkin so they can't start adding more mana, which is really what I need to do. Like the robber's gonna get counter magic from me and have all that stuff. Like I'm I have no way to win that. Yeah, I, I kept a hand that was really, really good against um, any blue deck, you know, and faced mono red. And we were on the draw. So, we lost. Essence Capture Terramander is kind of awkward. If you put the counter on the Terramander, then it is not able to adapt anymore. Is this Simic Flash? Should be gross, like it looks like gross spiral there. No, okay. So, Omen of the Sea Terramander is a little awkward, also. It's not an instant or sorcery. All right, I definitely want the third of land. Um, I should probably just keep Sabotage, also. Yeah, this song, this is Only Child by the Raconteurs. Kind of wanted another land there. I want to be able to keep Sinister Sabotage up for Nissa, so I can't play Terramander right now. So they have no lands in hand, so I got four spells, five spells. Alright, definitely want this land. Sailor's not bad. Maybe I shouldn't be keeping Sailor, though. Maybe I shouldn't have kept sailors.
presence capture. Am I even scared of Nyssa right now? Like what's what's the worst that can happen if I counter this? If I play, you know, play Spectral Sailor, Mystical Dispute. It's probably Nyssa. I guess I'm still kind of scared of that. I know I can't actually counter Nissa right now anyway. I guess I should just counter this. Just adapted whenever I attacked last turn, attacked for six. Have adapted last turn. I feel like I haven't played this game very well. don't have, like, if they have, like, another bounce spell. Don't really have, like, the mana to adapt and counter. Yeah, I really did not play this game very well. Should have just essence captured to start with instead of like unsummon then essence capture. Could have held that unsummon. Come on, land. Perfect. That was absolutely perfect. That lets me adapt both Terramanders. That was perfect.
think we got this. Cause like they're gonna need they're gonna need like multiple removal spells now. And with them, with them acting first, it really needs to wait till I adapt because I'm not attacking for lethal right now. So it really needs to wait till I adapt and then do Brazen Borrower because now I get to cast this Quench, which means that I'll have seven spells. So each one of these only costs one mana. So I still get to do both, but then, you know, counter unless they pay two and... So my... My opponent needed to wait for the bounce, but then they also needed to have a second bounce spell as well. They need to wait, wait for me to adapt first. Ooh, we got a Mastery Orb. We get Dexes. Okay. Yeah, the I mean we're doing so none of the like these four decks down here are not best of one. We're doing best of one for all of these. All right, so you, you can see we have a plan. Play Brineborn Cutthroat, protect it with counter magic. That's our plan. You do mono blue devotion with Nyx Lotus. We can do that. That's not it's not a budget friendly deck. But yeah, that does um that does sound like a fun deck to play, especially like best of one. Guess we're just sitting here waiting for our opponent to do something. Yeah, the thing about yeah, I mean Toti, do you have a good build? Do you do you have it? The thing about it is, I'm not sure how it you know like it, it being able to beat Mono Red in Best of One is going to be the real tricky thing. Their Niv Mizzet fires of invention deck. Still need a wild, uh, another wild card for the last two Niv Mizzets. Yeah. Niv Mizzet's a mythic, also, right? Pretty sure it is. Has this been happening to other people a lot today, too? like connection issues or something.
Thanks, hostage. All right, well, obviously, we're not counting that. We didn't, didn't do anything there. Gotcha. Well, yeah, right packs. At least send me, send me the list, and maybe I'll get around to playing it. Interplanar Beacon. Well, this Essence Capture and Unsummon may not do a lot. Yeah, we had the 12 hour stream today. So, starting off early. <clears throat> I can, like, play Sailor, bounce the Sailor, play it again. Really expecting a sweeper with Island, Steam Vents, Interplanar Beacon. It's a good time to play Gadwick, get in and play. Okay. Never mind. was a sweeper. So I know I could Essence Capture that. Um, doesn't really protect, there we go. Doesn't really protect like from a bounce spell on the Brineborn Cutthroat though. And we have the Unsummon, so just let it resolve. Now we have the Counter Spell backup. And we're five and one. Um. Is White Weenie dead now? I mean, no, no. You can definitely still play White Weenie. I mean, that's that was our our budget mono white deck that we played earlier. You can still play. You can still play mono white.
<clears throat> All right, let's keep it. Some one mana one ones and counter spells. I'm gonna wait on playing Terramander. Your thoughts on upgrades to the budget decks? Yeah, I mean like like mono red, mono white, those are, you know, pretty uh, pretty well known decks. Um This mono blue, I'd I'd probably just play a couple more brazen borrower, but There's not like a ton to upgrade with this mono blue, honestly. And mono black would have a lot of upgrades. Like mono black has just so many like rares and stuff. Like you you can make a a better mono black deck than what we're using for the budget deck and Alright, we're gonna negate the light of the stage. I, no, I wouldn't play any more than the two Gadwicks. This isn't really a, a big Gadwick deck. I don't think you need more Gadwicks. Just so tough. It's difficult to beat Bone Crusher Giant, but then obviously Runaway Steamkin. It's really difficult to beat also. Beating Mono Red on the draw is just is pretty difficult. That was me getting punished for waiting on the borrower. Yeah, Jenkins, uh, how good is this deck in the metagame? I, th I think it's very good. I mean, I think it's, I think the mono red on the draw is just your hardest matchup. Like that's, that's like where you're gonna be losing a lot when you're on the draw against mono red but besides that like all of the the control decks that are trying to beat mono red i think those are all real good matchups and even the mid-range decks are pretty good matchups i think this deck is really well positioned as far as upgrades you probably just want to play brazen borrowers instead of unsummons One another land, which is why I was casting the opt main phase. Um, for best of one, is this better than? Uh, Simic Flash? So probably, honestly.
no, I wouldn't. No, I don't think you need to splash any color in this. All right, we're on the draw, unfortunately. And we're playing against Mono Red. Our only two losses are on the draw Mono Red, and unfortunately that's what we got again here. I'm not, yeah, I'm not as familiar with the, with exactly how uh, Mono Blue plays in Historic. I haven't played Historic since Theros release, so I, I don't have a, a true answer to that. Maybe we got a shot here. Hey, what's up, Brad? Move in next week. Pretty excited about it. So, of course, they're going to be going with this Infuriate. And so I was just waiting to bounce with that. They really don't seem to have any instants. So I shouldn't really get punished for waiting for bouncing here. I guess I should have attacked. I, I wanted to see if they had more haste creatures. You know, like one mana, one one haste creatures or something. I wanted to protect against that. Okay. How was the comedy festival? How'd it go? Did you kill it? Perfect. That's awesome. So three, four, five, six, seven. Probably be chump blocking with Terramander. If they have land plus Ember Cleave, okay, good. Not land plus Ember Cleave, so that's good. Perfect. Unless they just drew a removal spell. Hopefully no removal spell. Good. So yeah, we... 
defeated. Mono red. On the draw. So we're two and two against mono red. We're one oh on the play and now one two on the draw. And then we're four oh against everything else. And we're gonna play one more. No mas. This is a good looking hand. Uh, you know, play cutthroat, back it up with a bunch of counter spells. Better for me to wait till after Cutthroat before I opt, so I'm going to do that. We don't need to opt right now. Don't know if I like our chances here with, with what our hand looks like. We're going to need a lot more counter spells than what we got. Hmm. Sailor's not a counter spell. But is another good flash creature to have and also draws cards. Albeit slowly. I think we just want counter spells right now. would have the sailor I could protect the cutthroat by giving it that fourth toughness there we go it's like we still found the sailor either way but we are closer one closer to drawing another counter spell Play like some dream trawlers. Ugh. One man short. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's try this. Wanted to find mystical disputes. Of course, that's what I was hoping to draw. Ah, uh, and we're one card short from the mystical dispute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good deck for Nicol Bolas. I guess it would be like the Grixis. We played a Grixis midrange in best of one the other day. Um, so 
Sweet. <clears throat> Found enough counters. And we went seven and two. Yeah, this this deck's good. I really, really think this deck's uh, positioned well. What are we getting? Heliod's Punishment. And just more, more gems. Okay, so let's talk about our deck a little bit. So yeah, we were two and two against Mono Red. We were one zero on the play and one two on the draw, and then we were five zero against everything else. Yeah, you know, so that's a that's a really good, uh, really good showing for the deck. Um, as far as making the deck non-budget, I mean, I think like I'd rather have Brazen Borrower than Unsummon. So I would I would take out the two Unsummons and play two more Brazen Borrowers. That's kind of about it, honestly. Um, yeah, that's kind of about it. The essence capture didn't look so great there. I wonder if wonder if this should just be three quench two capture instead of two quench three capture. The deck can play pretty long though, and quench isn't always a reliable counter spell. Which is why I like negate and capture how they're hard counter spells. Um, this is the cheapest out of the budget decks. Definitely, this is definitely the cheapest out of the budget decks, um, and it's also the best. Um, like I said, if you want to make it even cheaper, you just instead of Castle Vantress, you just play all islands, and instead of the Gadwicks, you play two more Omen of the Seas, and instead of the Brazen Borrowers, you play two more on Summons. If you want to make it all commons and uncommons, it's you know it won't be as good, but it'll still be a, a good solid deck that you'll be able to win with. Um, yeah, like we didn't use Castle of Antris at all in those games. So that, that's a card you don't use a lot. But it does come up sometimes that you do use it. Um, so that's how to make it even more budget. And uh, Thrix at the top end, I think, costs too much mana at five mana. I think Gadwick's a better top end card. Um, as far as sideboard, if you want to play a best of three, you want you definitely want the fourth disdainful stroke. You want the fourth negate, or sorry, the fourth mystical dispute. Definitely want the fourth mystical dispute. You want the fourth negate. You need ether gusts for like shifting ceratops, and you need, um, yeah, you need ether gusts for shifting ceratops. You need, uh, um, like disdainful strokes, a good one to have. A card that's that's not bad either. That's that's a good, like another card that's not bad for the sideboard. Against aggro as a blocker and against ceratops as a blocker is honestly serpent. Stone coral serpent. It's kind of an interesting one that you could put in the sideboard. Um, That you know, you basically it's a it's an artifact that you can turn into you know for four mana it can be a four four so it can trade with shifting ceratops. Um, there you go. Thank you, Kendis, for updating that. Um, let's see. I basically took like this mono blue deck that we played last format. Like I, I think that Model Blue is is really underrated. I think it's a good deck. Where's where's it at though? Unless I accidentally deleted it or something while I was doing it. Oh, it's right down here. Model Blue tempo. Um, let's see. I guess Frogify is another option. Oh, Tails End. Tails End's a good good counter spell. It's good against a lot of things. Those are some other options, but yeah, basically not not budget. Um, really wouldn't change very much. I'd basically just get all the brazen borrowers in there. But there we go. Very good budget deck. Uh, mono blue. All right, we, let's move on. We got black, then red, then green. Those y'all watching on YouTube. 
uh, leave a like over there. And of course, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the, the budget series. And if you're playing any budget decks that you're doing well with, you know, feel free to share those also. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll probably get into some multicolor decks uh, later, but you know, this week we're doing all five of the single colors to start with. No, this is not a Kraken deck, no. Um, all right, there we go. So that's mono blue. It could have Kraken in the sideboard, I guess, if you want another threat in the sideboard. It's a good threat to have in the sideboard. Yeah, that, that could be a sideboard card like against like red and aggro and stuff that you can you can get a bigger creature that can help. That could be a good sideboard card. Not a main deck card, though. All right, uh, so thank you so much for watching some Budget Mono Blue, and I will see you for the next video.